How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and like I said I'm just trying to find any kind of content to upload to you to YouTube here for you guys and uh, You know, I was just thinking of a good idea potentially uh, for people that are gonna be new into hut Maybe their first year starting off uh, in September if some people just got the game in December But now you're actually getting the game like on release day or even like a little after the best way to start NHL 20 hockey ultimate team there's a few things that really need to be done, okay? So, I'm going to assume, because they really haven't said much else, that they're going to be similar things in the mode. So, like, uh, objectives and milestones. i got to imagine it's going to be similar. So, right away, that's what I'll say to you guys. Definitely work on those, okay? So, say there's another, like, Mike Gartner kind of grind, like, score a certain amount of goals. Try to do that as, much as, as fast as you possibly could. Uh, probably uh, your, earn your challenge stars. Um, that, that would be definitely key as well. The sets, that would take a while no matter what. You really can't do that in a fast manner. Um, open your, your reward packs, that could take a while. The hut challenges, again, you got to keep grinding with that. Shots could take a while. Hits, completing games. Just, all of them are a grind, though. But what i got to say to you guys is definitely just try to do these first. Because you get coins along the way. Uh, you unlock probably cards. Again, we don't know for sure. You know, show us like what, what kind of like... Uh, milestones are going to be, you know, there, if any at all, which you got to assume they will because, again, this is such a success uh, this year. So, like I said, I really thought they did a great job in 19 overall with the, with the mode, honestly. I thought it was good. Uh, they gave a lot of free things away, so definitely, hopefully they do that yet again. So, there you go. And then uh, some other tips, guys. Let's go to offline challenges. They give, you a lot, they give you a lot of challenges to start with. Maybe more, hopefully more, in NHL 20. So you got 50 here, 80 here, 30, and then 40 more here. There are so many challenges you can do, and you get some quick coins, uh, and, and you just got to keep grinding. You get consumable packs, you get more coins, more coins, more coins. And it's, it's free. I mean, you don't need to put contracts on your players, I don't think. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely the best way to get some coins uh, fast to start off NHL 20. And, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just really the best best advice I can give you guys to definitely do your offline challenges. Probably first thing uh, you get into the to the game. Because uh, if there's milestones, once again, at least you're doing the offline challenges. You're getting coins, 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 plus you're scoring goals for the milestone legends, potentially, if those are, again, a thing. Which we assume they will, but, again, you never know. So, there you go. Uh, the challenges... I mean, again, there, I'm not a challenge person. Like, it's not something I'm probably going to do. I mean, it, it could be done by me, but I, I wouldn't... I don't know. I, I don't like to, like, play offline too much. So I'm probably more just like an online grinder for CS. And if there's a if there's a CS, just try to take advantage of all those competitive season opportunities, guys. No matter what, even if you get, like, some bad cards, you could sell them for, like, 2 3 k Like, it's, it's not bad. A lot of cards go for just, you know, anything. Like, just even, like, a small amount when the game first comes out, of course. So... Uh, that's what I can say with that. Uh, even draft champions, anything that you make potential extra coins or earn extra cards is what I would say. And of course, the last thing, guys, if you're really into it, uh, you can spend money. But again, that's something that's something I really suggest. Or you know, I'm de I'm definitely not gonna. But for the most part, probably like day one, I'll spend like 50. But that's it for the whole year. I do not spend money on this game, guys. I just I don't feel like you need to. Uh, if you grind long enough, you will get a good team for sure. And uh, that's really the biggest biggest thing I can tell you guys, just to grind uh, early, as early as you possibly can, as much as you can as well. So, all fine challenges and do your milestone objectives, all right? So, it's pretty much the same thing as 19, uh, but I assume that's what it's going to be like in 20, all right? So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate it as always. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel here. And like I said, we're getting close to NHL 20. Only a few more weeks till access on the 5th. So, as always, guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to catch me on social media, follow me at Twitter, 14HenryTV. Uh, I recently changed my at, so now it is 14HenryTV. Links in the description. Follow me on Twitch, guys. It is 14HenryTV. Never miss a stream again. Have the alerts turned on. And also join the Discord, guys. We have a lot of fun in here. We just talk about hockey, talk about hut, just talk about anything, really. Links are all in the description, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.